one of the most important things you can look for is the culture of the place you're going to join. Culture really matters. Culture has to do with values. And in my years in the Valley, I've seen there's companies uh, with really uh, cultures that appeal to me and others that do not. I don't want to make a judgment about these, but just have you be tuned up for them. My partner, Rami, Randy Komisar, wrote a book. He teaches over at the engineering school called The Monk and the Riddle. Great book for you to read about Lenny in his startup venture, funerals.com. But he contrasts the difference between mercenaries and missionaries. And uh, uh, the, uh, the, the difference is really very profound. Uh, the mercenary cultures are quite driven. And uh, paranoia is kind of at the heart of what drives them. I, I would frequently have arguments with Andy Grove. Andy would say, only the paranoid survive. And I'd say, hey, Andy, paranoia is a disease state. You know, that, that may not be the best way to motivate. Because instead of paranoia, you can have passion for what you're doing. Paranoia pushes you forward. Passion draws you into an opportunity. It's the difference between opportunistic and being strategic, or the difference between, the difference between mercenaries and missionaries is the difference between the pitch and the deal or forming a real partnership. This difference can be seen in the time view that you have. Is this venture on a sprint to go build the next Instagram as fast as we can? Or are we going to take a very long view the way Jeff Bezos does at Amazon.com? I'm not judging one or the other as right or wrong, but it's an important dimension. Uh, are you going to obsess on the competition or obsess on the customers? Are you going to set up the culture so there's a kind of aristocracy of the founders who really call all the shots? Or do you want a meritocracy where you can get the, all the ideas on the table, have the best ideas win? It's the difference between focusing on the financial statements or the value statements. I think it's the difference between whether or not you're in a culture where there's a lot of loners and you're on your own, or there's a real emphasis on mentoring, on coaching, so that the whole team gets better. I think it's the difference between an attitude of entitlement, which I find unappealing, or the Hewlett-Packard idea that people go there, they make a contribution, it's recognized, and that makes everybody more effective. <laughs> in, uh, in Randy's book, he calls it the difference between the deferred life plan and a whole life, one that really works. My take on this is it's the difference between a lust for making money and a lust for making meaning as well as money. And any entrepreneur that comes to tell us that they're not interested in making money, these are the enterprise for profit entrepreneurs, I usually don't believe them. But I think you can achieve success and significance, not just focus on success, by choosing uh, what it is that you choose to do.